Lol69. She's coming over today after work. Oh, yeah. I get it. I have a wife, so you take all the time you need. Wait, what? Am I too autistic to understand what he's implying? Oh, wait, it's a straight marriage, isn't it? Door open! Jesus! It's like she's a nanny cam in here. This couple is the least shitty part of the show, so of course Elsa has to ruin it. See, she's following a Nazi blog. It's okay to talk about punching her. More like Elsa coming to blow him. Wait, she gave him her email after she fucked him? What boomer nonsense is this? Or is giving out her email foreplay so it was before? Or during? Um, that doesn't actually- I, I mean, it'll still be there when you- Okay. Hey, Elsa, huddling on the floor next to a dryer is more suspicious than just going to your bedroom. I shouldn't have blamed you for what happened between us. It was my fault, too. Now, if only she could admit that literally every other moment of her life. Ever since it happened, I feel like I've been more- Present and kind. You have been distracted by literal hallucinations. You've been lying more than usual. Present and kind? Why is she a character? Puzzle puke, again. But this time it's closer so I can read more of its awfulness. A chocolate covered strawberry. That's a sexually charged fruit. Common misconception. The strawberry has a positive sexual charge and the chocolate is negative, so they cancel each other out. It's been five years, he still hasn't proposed. <sighs> Why do straight people exist? We could be like arctic foxes sharing food with our den mates. Card. He's autistic. If you don't like it, don't date an autistic guy. Or maybe at least have priorities that matter, like carding him every time he says something sexist. Well, this is a new system I developed so that Sam doesn't annoy people with Antarctica facts. He likes Antarctica. It's not annoying if you genuinely appreciate your partner, which you should if you're choosing to stay with him. I give him three cards at the beginning of every day, and then when he talks about Antarctica, I take one away. So when he's all out of cards, he can't talk about it anymore. Ah, so it's like a weird reverse ABA, where after you lose, you lose some more. Sam, are you okay with this? Holy shit, Elsa is doing her very first good deed. Well, almost. No follow through. Autism representation is so much better when the writer has no idea she's doing it. Sometimes people with ASD have outsized reactions to stuff. Call me a person with ASD and I'll kick your ASS. Did mom used to touch all of your stuff? How did you get her to stop? I don't think I ever did. Get Elsa to respect boundaries? Good joke. I want to smooch. Wait, you're not my husband, you're my son. Here's my smooch. Wait, wrong again. Aha! There's my husband! There are three options for an animal in the wild when faced with a new dangerous situation. They can run, they can attack, or they can hide. What about freeze? You missed one. You missed the one that has Antarctica in the title. And now you're texting? Come on, are you trying to blow this? My brother's autistic. And? I have to answer my phone in case he's like freaking out or he disappeared, which is what happened right now. It's kind of my job as a sister. It feels like they originally wrote Casey to be Teen Sheldon's older sibling and him the younger, then swapped the numbers at the last minute so they could continue to treat him like a child anyway. My mom and brother used to refer to people who weren't on the spectrum as neurotypicals. It bothers me when people like Elsa use the word neurotypical, mostly because they never use it correctly. I always thought that they were saying empties, which made sense because... Sam takes up so much space that everybody around him needs to be empty. I thought you were going to make a joke about neurotypicals being empty-minded, aka stupid. What you actually said is worse. It's so much worse. No one is too autistic to realize he's not listening. She works at Claire's. She can pierce whatever you want for half price. Except Scrooge. I don't want her handling some other dude's dangle downs. Monogamous people are fucking wild. Oh, and he's also doing that fetishistic, it doesn't count if it's lesbian thing. Otherwise, he would have said scrotes and vulvas. Wow, what's going on with your phone? You know what? It's the autism support group. I, I gotta call Louisa. Now that's what it looks like when someone uses autism as an excuse. What are you doing having a birthday party? You're a grown man. The hell are you talking about? Birthdays are great. That's your standard of adult behavior? No wonder your expectations of your son are whack. I really like Sam. You hate everything he does or talks about. The way his brain works is so interesting. So interesting that you want it to stop. 
I'm really glad the school teaches Los Angeles math, because it's so much better than New York math. You have no idea. I'm glad he stims, but why does he only do it for anxiety and hardly ever happy stim? Oh, probably because he doesn't experience happiness. I was so focused on how annoying she is that I kind of forgot about the good parts. There were good parts? Not a single one has been shown on screen. She didn't even mind when I locked her in my closet. That seems special and rare. Wait, what? I too was distracted by the let's fight card in the flowers. He never makes eye contact. Like, not even to punctuate his anger. The actor just took the autism equals no eye contact thing and ran with it every second. That's not how any of this works. You punched a girl? Clayton has a zero tolerance policy on violence. Okay, but she did the violence at the other school that doesn't have a zero tolerance policy. Also, zero tolerance policies are bullshit. Because of his autism. Sam's autistic? Not your place to say, Elsa! Ooh, ooh, I have a solution to the awkward silence. Have literally anything else to talk about besides your kids. Do you remember Diego from when I worked with him at the salon? Yeah. It took him over a year to tell me he was gay. He still carries a lot of shame. Or maybe you just weren't that close. You clearly didn't work full time. Your full time job is being a helicopter parent. You self employed yourself a bullshit job. But everything with you revolves around being a mom. Uh, maybe sometimes you should just, you know, be like an individual person. The way this scene is cut is trying to make Doug look like the asshole, but everything he's saying is right. This is a comedy scene, right? It's absolutely absurd, from the barging in, to the teacher going along with it, to the insisting on responding in French. What's with the dramatic music? What. The. Fuck. What genre is this? Had a minor verbal fight with my husband, gotta get that Latin dick. Quiet. Hurry up and get in the closet. She said